like a pro at String Sound Studios. Hi, good day, and welcome to our exciting Pure Beginning Guitar Course. This first video here is a prerequisite to the Pure Beginning Guitar Course playing video. So do this first if you're not familiar with tuning the guitar. And uh, let's get going. So let's talk a little bit about guitars here. And what we're going to do before we do, before I do that, let me uh, go back a minute. What we're going to do is we do this. Then we're going to do a, a mid feature where it zooms in and you can see exactly what I'm doing. So don't get afraid because you see the tuner here. You're like, how am I going to see that? All right, we're going to zoom right in. I'm going to show you how to tune it. But let's go back to this. Now, let's take a look at this Gibson guitar here. Certain guitars have three pegs here and three pegs here. These are the machine heads or the tuning pegs, and this is the headstock of the guitar where they are put on, okay? Well, you need to know that some guitars have six here, and some have three here and three here. We are using a standard six string guitar in standard tuning because there's a different ways to tune the guitar. Uh, so we're gonna talk a little bit about direction now, okay? Uh, this is the six string. And that's the lowest string on the guitar. Okay, it's the highest in direction in relation to actual direction, but because it's up here, that's what I'm talking about. But as we go this way, we go up on the guitar. As we go this way, we go down. Same thing when you're playing. If you go this way, you go up. And if you go this way, you go down. People get confused with that. All right. I will be using a snark tuner. A snark tuner is a vibration tuner, meaning it won't pick up outside noise. You put it on the guitar, it picks up the vibration of the string, so you're able to tune it. Now that's good, because if you're in a situation where you're playing with other people, you just hit a note and it won't pick up what they're playing or everyone's noodling around tuning up or doing something, all right? So before you start playing, so Snark Tuner, very good tuner. There's other tuners that work with vibration. There's other types of tuners that you can plug into your guitar. There's all types of things. I chose to use this. I think it works best for this video. So when I tune, I generally use my thumb when I'm using a tuner. And I go like this and I turn the pegs. Uh, you can do this. If I'm tuning manually, I might do something like this and cross over. Okay. So whatever you're comfortable with, that's fine with me. It's more important that you know a little bit about how the guitar, or a lot about how the guitar works in relation to tuning. Uh, this is important too. Make sure your guitar is set up properly, meaning the strings are going to the inside post, no matter whether you have three here or three here or six there. See how the strings go to the inside post? That's important because if you're tuning, and your strings aren't set up properly, you're gonna be going higher when you think you're going lower and lower when you think you're going higher, all right? That leads us to this. Let's talk a minute about flats and sharps. A flat is lowering the note, okay? If I wanna to get to a certain note and it's too sharp, I have to lower it or flat it. A sharp and a flat sign looks like a little lowercase b. A sharp means you're raising the pitch. So if you're lower, let's say you're on an E and you see that tuner register in a D or a D sharp, that means you have to come up. So a sharp looks like a, a tic-tac-toe sign, a pound sign, but in music we call it a sharp. So that's really important. Now let's talk again about the tuning pegs. Let's go back to that. When you tune, very important, counterclockwise, going like this, okay? raises the pitch, it makes it go higher. If you have to come down to the pitch, you have to lower it and that would be going clockwise. Be aware when you're under the guitar here that it's still clockwise to lower and counterclockwise to raise because that can throw you off when it is like this, especially if you're used to all that. So counterclockwise, you want to go, makes it go higher. Clockwise lowers the pitch. A little bit about some Music theory, music, Western music, has seven alphabetical names, but there's 12 notes all together. Let me explain. The seven alphabetical names in music are A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. It's good you know that, all right, when you first start tuning, let's first start playing guitar. Now, there's something called sharps and flats. 
which I just spoke about. So in total, Western music has 12 tones. That's including the sharps and flats, and sharps and flats can be the same thing. For example, an A flat can be a G sharp. We call that an harmonic. Most tuners, most tuners use the sharp sign, okay? The one that looks like the number sign, the pound sign, the tic-tac-toe sign. In music, we call it a sharp sign. So learn what a sharp sign looks like, learn what a flat sign looks like, but most tuners use sharp signs from what I know from what I've seen, especially recently. Okay, so we're gonna go over and we're gonna go to the, uh, before, actually, before I go to the Zoom feature, let me explain the notes here. We're gonna do that again in the Zoom feature, but the sixth string is the lowest. That's your open E, that's standard tuning, okay? There's all types of different ways to tune the guitar, but when you start, most people wanna learn in and you should learn in standard tuning to learn what that is. So the sixth string, the lowest one is E. And this is a system, okay? If you go E, F, G, A, it's a fourth away from this, E to A. This is an A. This guitar for the most part is tuned in fourths, except for one string that goes to a third. All right, this is an A, fifth string open. Our fourth string open is a D. Our third string open is a G. Our second string open is a B. That's what I was talking about a third. Watch, G, A, B. So we have G, A, G is the third string, to B is a third. Actually, it's called a major third. The other ones are called perfect fourths. Back to a perfect fourth. From B to E is a fourth. So remember, this is in standard tuning. Let's go over to that Zoom feature and we'll see you there and we'll get you tuned up. First, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the sixth string. This is my open sixth string, the lowest in pitch on the guitar. And as you can see in relation to the tuner, so hopefully you should be able to see the tuner pretty good. Okay, you see it's lower and it's down at a D sharp. That's a note that's lower than E. Now, some other notes lower are D, and C sharp, and C. And then we also have higher notes, and I'll do a little bit more of that once I tune the string up. But remember, we need to go counterclockwise when we're raising the pitch. So we're at a D sharp, and we have to bring that up to an E. So my D sharp is going, now it's getting close to E. See that? Should be at an E. You can see the red there. We want to get that smack right in the middle. A little sharp. Probably going to want to recheck that. Now we're at the E. Tuner says it's good. I'm using the same exact tuner. So hopefully you see in that went a little sharp. We can recheck it later. Sometimes it does that. There you go. It's a little flat. So that's very close. Ooh, dropping on me. We'll leave it there and let it set in. That should be pretty good though. Some notes higher than E are F, F sharp, and G. So start learning those notes higher and lower. And remember what I said, try to learn the chromatic scale. This way you know how music works. That's a 12 note system. That's what we work in. And this again is standard tuning. Let's go to our A. That would be our fifth string open. All right, our A again is lower. So we have to, well, it's not an A, it's a G sharp. So we have to bring, that's my eighth string, but we have to, and that's the appropriate pitch for that, the fifth string open in standard tuning is A. So we have to bring that up, that G sharp up to an A. So let's go. I'm going to turn it counterclockwise. Here we go. Good turn there. All right, there's my A note. So some notes lower than A, as we know is a G sharp. A G, an F sharp, an F. Some notes higher than A. 
would be A sharp. And remember, the tuners usually register sharps at B, C. So be aware of where you are and whether you need to go lower or higher. Let's check that A again. All right, that's pretty much in there. All right, let's go to the D string. All right, my D, now this says D sharp. My D string is my fourth string open, which is this one here. Okay. So your fourth string open, remember the strings go from the lowest, from six, five, four, three, two, one. The D is the fourth string. Now my D is registering a D sharp. That means that it's too high. So I have to go back. I have to lower it and I have to go clockwise. So if you watch the peg here, I'm gonna turn it this way. All right, I'm coming into a D. You see the yellow there on the tuner? We're going back down. Now there's my D. What I like to do when it's sharp, I like to go a little bit lower and then come back up, kind of locks it in better. So if you're close by, bring it up. Oops. There's my D note. Now we have notes that are lower than D. Okay. Well, well, let, yeah, let's go, uh, let's go lower first. We have C sharp. We have C. We have B. And then of course some notes higher. There's my D there. Okay. We want to go the D. We want to go higher notes than D would be D sharp, E, and F. So again, know that scale, know that chromatic scale. Now let's go over to our third string. Let's see where we are in relation to everything else. All right, my third string is a G sharp. So that means the string is a G, the third string here okay, is an open G, we're going to open G, and it's higher, it's at a G sharp. So we have to bring that back down. We have to go lower. So let's try to get it to a G. All right, so you have to turn this clockwise. We were lower. I mean higher, we have to come back sharp. And get that in there. All right, there's my G. Went out. Let's go back a little bit. Counterclockwise. Counterclockwise, when you have a guitar like this, because some guitars have three here and three there, and some have all six there, just realize which way you're going. All right, so there's my G. That's in tune. Let's take a look at the second string open. That would be a B. Now my B is registering in A sharp. Okay, that would be it's supposed to be a B note. Now A sharp is lower than B. So I have to come up to a B. A goes to B. So I have to come to a B. There we go. into my B there. And some notes lower than B. Now, as, as we know, an A sharp, of course, an A, G sharp, and then a G. Notes higher than B. Here's my B here. That's another B. All right. Let me check that. All right. So I'm playing some of these other strings. You can see it's going out a little bit. So we're going to retune it. But some other notes, um, let, me, let me try the G again. Let me tune that. Some notes uh, higher than B. Here's the B or a C. C sharp, D. Okay, let's check the intonation on this string here. All right, my B is in. Let's go to my first string E. So here's my first string. My first string open is an E. Now, like the sixth string, I have it tuned lower. It's a D sharp, so I have to bring it up. 
have to go counterclockwise. Here we go, we're getting there. And there's my E. Oh, dropped again. Play the note and let it settle. Sometimes when you first hit it, it has a beat in there. And you'll see it fluctuate. The note will settle a little bit and you get a better reading. You can also use a harmonic, but which is at the 12th fret, but we'll do that another time. Tuning by harmonics. All right, now the best thing to do is once you get it in tune, is retune it, especially if you add some new strings there, or if it's out, like it, it was pretty out. That's a little sharp. And it can go sharper too. Remember, this is wood, everything's moving. So it has moving parts. This is my sixth string eight. Let's check my A. Fifth string open. A little sharp. Good enough. Let's check the fourth string open again, which is D. Seems to be right on. Fourth string open. Third string open, which is a G in standard tuning. That seems to be right on. And let's check the second string B. Good. First string A again. Sounds pretty good. Let's play a chord. Okay, now for a recap, make sure that your guitar is set up properly. The posts have the inside of the string, goes on with the strings are going to the inside of the post, here and here. You don't want to be turning one way and it's going lower and it's supposed to be going higher and vice versa. Okay? Turn the tuning peg counterclockwise to raise it. Know that sharp sign because the tuners use them. Counterclockwise goes up. Clockwise lowers the pitch. Along with each string pitch, learn the names going higher and lower. This is an E, that's an F, an F sharp, okay, G, G sharp. I'll download a sheet, uh, you can download a sheet on the uh, website that tells you what the chromatic scale is. Go to video one, start learning how to play. We're gonna start off with a lot of like, just right hand exercises, things of that nature. Then we'll combine them with frets. Then we'll be doing all kinds of like little progressions that are doable, you know? Things like that, and I keep building on that. So it's a really good course. Uh, I'm happy with it at least. <laughs> all right, uh, other resources on YouTube. Check other resources as I put them up there. There's a few things there. And uh, my concern is getting you playing. So send me feedback on stringsoundstudios.com through the website. Let me know what you would like me to do. Please join us on String Sound Studios uh, Facebook, String Sound Studios Twitter, String Sound Studios YouTube. Remember to send me an email also. So get to that Pure Beginning Guitar course and good luck. See you there. Thank you. Play like a pro at String Sound Studios.